We're here at West End Architectural Salvage for another DIY project. Now, I'm very, very excited about this project. I have a lot of different items here, so it might look like an extensive craft project, but it's so easy and simple. We're gonna make a cork board. So you need cork, a picture frame, and any size picture frame will do. Um, also, you need a paint sponge, some adhesive, and a stencil. We are gonna use the tree stencil today, but anything you want that goes with your home decor would be perfect. Tape and paint, picked out some gray paint and a little bowl today. Okay, so we have the picture frame and I'm gonna lay it down so the back is facing me. And I'll take the adhesive and just stick it on here. I think you're gonna wanna put a couple different pieces of adhesive on the picture frame, but we'll start out with the ones just on the side. The next step would be just to put the cork board right on the adhesive. This might be kind of challenging because the cork board came in a circular package. All right. I'm gonna put a piece of this right there too. And down at the bottom. This way this will give the cork board a flatter look. The cork board's pretty thin. You can just use a regular scissors to cut through there. All right, and then I'm gonna stick that adhesive right to the end there. And I'll try to pull the cork board as tight as I can to make it as smooth as I can get it. All right, and flip it over. Now from here, you can grab your stencil. And the cool thing about this, as I mentioned before, is you can use anything that kind of represents your home or your personality, something that goes with your living room or your kitchen. Um, and I'm gonna choose the tree here. And you can also lay the stencil wherever, if you wanna put it in the center, if you wanna put it over to the side. And I'm going to tape down the stencil just to make it a little more secure. And then I chose the gray paint. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there. You don't really need very much paint, just a little bit will do. And then you just wanna dab your sponge in here pretty gently. You don't need to soak up all the paint, just a pretty gentle dab will do. And then you can just take your sponge and just try to go around the stencil. And again, this is something that you just wanna lightly dab. You don't wanna touch it so hard on there that it's gonna leak around the stencil. So just a light dab would be perfect. And you know, these supplies are so easy to find. You can find all of them at your local craft shop. I think that looks pretty good. And you know, it looks a little neat too if you can kind of see some of the cork board come up through the paint. That gives it a little more personality, I think. All right, put that back and you can pull up the stencil before the paint dries. That's fine. If you're gonna do that, make sure that you pull up the stencil pretty gently. Are we ready for this? I love it. Here is our cork board. And again, this is a great place to put by your phone, put by your entryway. We'd love for you to check us out on Facebook at DSM Living. I cannot wait to hear how your cork board project went or if you have any other ideas for a DIY project. Also, you need to come to West End Architectural Salvage. They have such cool, wonderful items for your home. So get down here and check it out.